Anti-gay comments overshadow the Super Bowl, but they can't stop progress in Arizona, Hawaii, and Rhode Island. We have new legislation and strong polling to carry marriage forward from coast to coast. Plus, amicus briefs in the Prop 8 case. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for February 4th, 2013. Last week, a member of the San Francisco 49ers drew fire for openly rejecting the idea of having gay teammates. Team management distanced themselves from his remarks, but other players followed that up by claiming that they hadn't made an It Gets Better video that they actually had. Meanwhile, a player on the rival Baltimore Ravens has been an outspoken supporter of marriage equality. Brendan Ian Badejo says that he'll continue to reach out to the public and to the 49ers on the issue of marriage. Meanwhile, in Arizona, State Senator Steve Gallardo has introduced two marriage equality bills. One would repeal the existing state constitutional ban on marriage, while the other would repeal the statutory ban. These both may seem like a long shot, but the polling in Arizona is actually pretty encouraging. A public policy polling survey from last year showed a near tie, with 44% supporting marriage equality to 45% opposed. A political action committee in Michigan is collecting signatures to put marriage equality on the ballot. Marriage Michigan PAC wants to collect 300,000 signatures and raise $10 million for a 2014 vote. But Equality Michigan is skeptical of their effort. They've been laying the groundwork for a vote in 2016. Polling in Michigan is steadily improving, but it's still close. A November survey showed 56% support. We also have new polling data in Hawaii, with support now at 55% to 37%. Legislators may vote on marriage equality bills in the coming months. There's also a lawsuit in progress over the state's marriage ban. Numbers are even stronger in Rhode Island, with 57% supporting marriage equality to 36% opposed. A marriage equality bill passed the House last month, but has gotten slowed down in the Senate. And there's new data from Pennsylvania, where we have a plurality of support. 47% now favor marriage equality, with 43% opposed. That's a slow but steady improvement over the last decade. The Pennsylvania Democratic Party added marriage equality to the official party platform last year, and several pro-equality legislators won their races in November. Pennsylvania may become a state to watch in the next year for renewed efforts to pass a marriage bill. There's been progress in Wyoming where a domestic partnership bill has advanced further than any such bill ever has before. Although the bill was eventually voted down in the House, it's the first time that any pro-LGBT legislation has made it that far in the state legislature. And finally this week, various groups have filed amicus briefs in support of Prop 8 with the U.S. Supreme Court. The next milestones from, will be briefs from the plaintiffs on February 21st, briefs from supporters of the plaintiffs a week after that, and then oral argument on March 26th. We'll have more news on the Prop 8 and DOMA cases, as well as developments from the states in the coming weeks. Subscribe here on YouTube, at AFER on Twitter, and at Facebook.com slash American Equal Rights for the latest. You can also pledge your support at AFER.org and sign up for breaking email alerts. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.